Photographs have been found displaying flaws in the wall that collapsed on a Grocon building site last week in Melbourne, Australia, killing three people. The photographs taken last year on December 12th clearly show dangerous cracks in between the brickwork and foundation. The photographs are now an important factor in the investigation of the tragedy. Dr. Khan Adam, a senior research fellow in the School of Civil Engineering at Monash University, believes the cracks caused the wall to fall. That picture tells us a lot about the wall. The wall as a whole was under sheer failure. This renders the wall unable to resist wind loads. The wall, if it was designed properly, should flex with the wind and go back without collapsing. Strong winds are believed to be the main factor in the collapse, with engineering experts claiming the cracks would not have been able to withstand the powerful wind gusts of up to 112 kilometers an hour. I said to my colleague, is that thunder? And he said, no, it sounds like they're working on the building next door. And, and then we came outside a bit later. We didn't think anything of it and come out to this mayhem. On Monday, investigators initially blamed an advertising sign attached to the wall of the building site for the disaster. According to The Age, the chairman of Engineers Australia Structural College said if you erect a sign that is higher than the wall it is attached to, it acts exactly like a sail. If you attach something to make it significantly higher, then it could lead to a collapse. WorkSafe is a state government agency that is responsible for enforcing the 1984 Occupational Safety and Health Act. WorkSafe's acting general manager reportedly said the site was last inspected by the authority in October 2011 in order to manage work practices on the building site. However, the acting GM couldn't confirm whether the wall was inspected on that particular occasion. He reportedly told the Australian, the request related to concerns over the safety of workers who were using A-frame ladders to erect the hoarding on the site and the lack of pedestrian management system while the work was being carried out. Three lives were lost in the accident that occurred at a busy Swanston Street in Melbourne, including 18 and 19 year old siblings Bridget and Alexander Jones and French academic Dr. Marie Faith Fielwu. A total of four separate investigations by Victorian Police, WorkSafe, GroCon and the coroner are still underway. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Landris. Multiple sources, a broader view.